Ladies and gentlemen, broadcasting live from beautiful downtown Chicago, you're at the Kenmore Live Studio where we're do doing an episode of our Date Night Hero series. I want to welcome you live in the audience and online for our viewers who are at livestream.com slash Kenmore Live Studio. Today, we've got a very interesting date night planned with the raw food detox expert. So please help me welcome Chef Adam Graham, author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Raw Food Detox. Hi. Hi. Well, welcome. Welcome, thank you. Is this your first time at the Kenmore Live Studio? Yes, it is. I believe I see a lot of new faces. How many people are here for the first time? Oh, great, great. So you're in for a great surprise. Adam, I guess you're the expert on raw food detox, right? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I guess I'm an authority. You're an authority on raw food detox. <laughs> and is it hard to like go on dates and stuff like that when you're into raw food? Um, actually, no. Um, raw foods, uh, it allows me to, uh, to uh, offer to prepare dinner because oftentimes uh, there you go. people are really curious about raw foods and, and, and how to uh, prepare something similar to this. Awesome. So it's just a shift in venue. Instead of going out, you probably just cook dinner for them at home, which is yeah. great, right? And every date night usually starts with like some sort of beverage. And I understand you have a, a mojita for us, right? Which is different from a mojito. Can you explain that? Okay. Well, this is a, a non-alcoholic version of the mojita. Uh, mojito. Um, this uh, recipe has fresh mint, as you can see. It's sweetened with palm sugar, which is a whole food sweetener. It's, it's got a nice caramely taste and So that's flavor. why it has this color to it, Yeah, right? it gives it that color. Great. I think uh, traditionally, uh, the mojito is made with brown sugar, so you get a darker uh, color as well. So what I did was I just basically upgraded all the ingredients, pulled out the uh, rum or whatever the alcohol was, and added actually a little bit of apple cider vinegar to give it a little little bite. And apple cider vinegar is known for its medicinal properties. So this is a true detox cocktail. Wow. You know what? I'm sure we're going to have a lot of questions about this, like either in the audience or online. And to help field those, we have this beautiful, gorgeous woman sitting on top of a futuristic chili pepper red. Beautiful and gorgeous. Thank you, Oh, Vina. yes, absolutely. Well, you're on top of this washing machine under this veil. Tell us what you do. Well, I'm actually here fielding all the questions from online, so if there are any questions from anybody who couldn't make it tonight, I will let you know. And live chat correspondent, what is your name? My name's Danielle. Great, great. So if you have people watching at home, they can do shout outs to people who are sitting here live in the audience. But let's let's see how this drink is made. You have some water here, mm -hmm. and you're squeezing some lime. How much lime juice goes into about this much water? Well, the recipe I typically make, and you can never have too much of this yummy cocktail, because uh, the leftovers you just put in the fridge. It's a nice little Great. Uh, beverage in the morning. But um, I do a cup of lime juice to three cups of water, and then I sweeten it to taste. And, you know, I like it kind of sweet, so I put about a, a half cup of the palm sugar in there. Now, you could also use maple syrup. Oh, great. Um, grade B is, uh, is, this is the grade A, but um, grade B is actually has a higher mineral content. But grade A is great, it's nice and tasty. And why would this be the ideal beverage during your day? Well, that's a good question. And I got an answer for you. Because some of the other items we have today um, have garlic and onion in them. Ooh. And you know that those are kind of like a no-no on the first right. date. But garlic you don't and onion. You want to be like, hi. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so happy to see you. So the uh, garlic and onion are both very great um, for detoxifying the body. Okay. But they make your breath stink. They do. So. No lie. The mint comes in and saves the day. Um, the mint in the drink, uh, as well as the lime, um, uh, helps to alkalize the mouth and give you a, a fresh taste. Oh, I'll taste it. If you're lucky, you might taste oh, it. Oh, yes, that, that's uh, a. <laughs> but um, yeah, your breath. to things in the future of yeah, the date. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So I see that you've put in a cup of lime juice into three cups of water. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put in the maple syrup. We're going to add some maple syrup. Or the palm sugar, as you said. Yeah. You see, you're very generous with that. Yeah, you know, and it's it's really up up to you. And this and is. Here's the apple cider vinegar. I put a little, like a tablespoon in there. And that just gives it a little bite. A little, uh, little bite. Now, um, I'll use the same. Okay, we got to get the mint in there. So this mint, I, now typically 
they crush the mint. Right. They, I've um, seen them muddle, right? Yeah, in, they in the muddle restaurant. it. So what I'm going to kind of do is just put it on the cutting board and, and bruise it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You know, yeah. that's a great tip, and we're going to be collecting those throughout the show tonight. Um, and we'll pick the best one for the end yeah, of the show. Yeah, you can also kind of roll it. Um, but just you know, anything to release those aromas Make sure your, those your, your hands are clean. And this also gets, you get the little minty smell on your hands. So not only is your breath fresh, but you kind of kind of have the essence of mint on you. You can so, look at your date and say, smell my fingers. They smell really pretty like mint, right? Yeah, really. If you want to creep your date out, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm stirring it up, and I'm also going to add a pinch of, this is a um, Hawaiian red salt. Oh, wow. Um, and that's it's, uh, mineral-rich whole food salt, un, um, uh, unadulterated. Great. And uh, it also brings out a lot of the flavors and, and helps to mineralize. And that's, that's what it is about the detox and the raw foods, is mineralization and hy hydration Great. and um, getting all these wonderful flavors together. So now, I'll take this. Wow, we've got big container and small container. Let me get this out of the way so that we get a good shot of this. But of course you want to put it in decorative wear to impress your date, right? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now, we could even do this in a little shaker shaker with some ice, and that would be really nice as well. You do a little dance for your date, shaker shaker. Yeah, shaky. yeah. Yeah? And you're getting a workout, too. You're getting a workout, too. Yeah. Shaky shaky for your date. Yeah. Awesome. That's all part of the detox program is a little bit of exercise. So, you know, get your hands in there, make something tasty and uh, Great. delicious. Well, let's get a big round of applause for this beautiful drink. <laughs> So how many people here are a huge fan of massages? I am. I love getting massages. But you know what? On a first date, maybe that's a little bit too much to ask from, from your date. And, you know, uh, maybe you're not comfortable with that. But Chef Adam Graham has a massaged kale salad for us that he's going to show us. And he's going to explain why we actually...